The exact moment was captured by Cocteau, the legendary French poet and part-time boxing manager. Standing on a street corner, he grabbed his camera and pointed at his friends. On August 12, 1916, Europe was at war, but on that summery day in Paris, the writers Max Jacob and Henri Pierre Rocher and their friends were full of joy and laughter. The young and the brilliant were looking at a new world which would soon be theirs. As the girls waiting for them in the bistros noticed, it was clear that together they will change art forever. When Modigliani joined them after lunch, Cocteau fell to his knees with the presence of so much talent. But at the end of the afternoon, only one of them emerged in pictures just as in later life, standing alone. It was the painter, Pablo Ruiz Picasso. From that moment on, the matador from Malaga ruled the imagination of the century. A child prodigy, Pablo Picasso was born on October 25, 1881, in Malaga, Spain. The son of an academic painter, Jose Ruiz Blasco, he began to draw at an early age. He quoted his mother, If you are a soldier, you will become a general. If you are a monk, you will become the Pope. Instead, I was a painter and became Picasso. the family moved to Barcelona and Picasso studied. Picasso's Blue Period, 1901 to 1904, consists of somber paintings rendered in shades of blue and blue-green, only occasionally warmed by other colors. This period's starting point is uncertain. It may have begun in Spain in the spring of 1901, or in Paris in the second half. Of the, the Rose Period, 1904 to 1906, is characterized by a more cheery style with orange and pink colors and featuring many acrobats and harlequins. The harlequin, a comedic character usually depicted in checkered patterned clothing, became a personal symbol for Picasso. Analytic cubism is a style of painting Picasso developed along with Georges Braque using monochrome brownish and neutral colors. Both artists took apart objects and analyzed them in terms of their shapes. In the period following the upheaval of World War I, 
Picasso produced work in a neoclassical style. This return to order is evident in the work of many European artists in the 1920s, including André Duran and the artists of the New Objectivity Movement. Picasso's paintings and drawings from this period frequently recall the work of Engres. A quatrième étage, euh, il avait son atelier, c'est-à-dire c'était un grand appartement avec cinq ou six pièces, et dans chaque pièce, Picasso a faisait, dans une pièce, il faisait la gravure, dans l'autre, il peignait, il, euh, on marchait sur le tapis de Mégo. is Picasso's most famous work in his depiction of the German bombing of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. When asked to explain its symbolism, Picasso said, it isn't up to the cutting into them and even trying out sophisticated new ceramic techniques. He created some extraordinary pieces, metamorphosing them into surprising, often humorous creatures taking advantage of the curved surfaces which the various receptacles offered for experimenting with new modes of representation. He also produced numerous faces, even portraits. Young wrote a lengthy critique of Picasso, published a day after a vastly successful retrospective of his work ended in Zurich. Young's summary diagnosis of Picasso included the notion that the famed artist was a schizophrenic. It was as if he believed he could delay his death through painting. At the time, many of these works were dismissed, in the words of Douglas Cooper, as the incoherent scribbling of a frenetic old man. It wasn't until long after Picasso's death that the critics took a new look at his later works and realized that Picasso had invented neo-expressionism, or was, as usual, decades ahead of his time. There, Picasso continued his prolific work in painting, drawing, prints, ceramics, and sculpture until his death on April 8, 1973. At the end of his life, he summarized his experiences by saying, when you come right down to it, all you have is yourself. The sun is a thousand rays in your belly. All the rest is nothing. The Matador finished his work.